M0FXP, welcome to my channel. ARDV10 scanner, very nice scanner which receives C4FM, D-Star, DMR, HF, CW, and so it's it's quite an incredible scanner. And I'm just going to show you the step selections on this device. All you do is go menu, then select enter for the VFO. And then you now get, you can select A, B and Z VFO. It only received one VFO at the time. You can do that with the right and left arrows. Otherwise, go to step and click enter. And there's all your classic steps that you would choose. Cycle through, like for example, AM is 8.33. That's very common. Click that enter, even though we're in uh, FM at the moment. But we can select mode by pressing mode here. Auto 1 is where I tend to leave it, but let's just say we did want to select AM. That's where we would select it or keep going. LSB, USB, CW and keep going. Look, D-Star, Yesu, DMR and it all works. I've tested it and it works great and receives everything. It's just brilliant. I'm going to try it out on HF later on. So to come out of that menu, go clear. If we go back in, one more thing about the VFO steps, press menu. Enter. Now remember, to go into memory mode, you would just go across, then enter. That's your memory channels. Always press the execute button at the end. And we can turn with the channel knob here to select my different memories and change frequency when we're in VFO mode. So, but if we want to stay in VFO, go menu, across, enter. We're in VFO mode, choose the VFO. I'm going to choose A with the arrows right and left, then go enter. So that's our VFO, and we can change again the frequency just by turning the knob. And if we want to select the step, menu, enter, go to step adjust. Now this gives you some unusual step adjustments, but they may come in handy. So you can see the different amounts there. Push to the right, see if there's any more. There you are. So they might come in handy with certain frequencies. Thanks very much. The great scanner has a really good sounding audio on this. If I can find some, go to my some. I just added some memories at the moment. Enter, and I just tune through. Or we can go scan through by going menu, cross to the right, enter, and it will scan through them. There's one there. It's a really nice speaker on this. Really nice and loud. They were scanning away. And to, to save memory channels, you just go menu. Go back to VFO, enter, enter again. So we're in VFO and say you want to save that. You just hold down enter and it automatically finds the first empty channel. Push the right arrow. You can still change the mode and other items, but to, to name it, you just go to T here. Just go enter. And you can start to type. So if you look here, number three has got the GHI. So if we press three, G, and then say we want to put a J in there, we'll go number four. And if we keep pressing it, so we'll do the next letter with a number, with number five, let's say. It will also select lowercase and numbers. And once you've selected it, press enter. And to finally save it, you just go down, cross with the arrow again, memory channel parameters. Press enter and you've saved it and it will appear in your memory channels when you scroll through. Just go menu to the right, enter. There's my memory channels. Turning the, the large knob to scroll through after pressing enter. And then there's, oh, it's not actually changing my memory channels now. So maybe I'm on the wrong bank. Oh, there it goes there. Okay. And to scan, then you just press menu to the right, enter, and it actually scans and enter twice. Yeah, bravo, yep. <clears throat> you can help it around just by turning the knob. That's your volume there. Yeah. Squelch. Uh, if you want squelch, press the button here. This gets highlighted here. So if I press it again, it's unhighlighted. Press it here, and then again, turn the lower knob for squelch adjustment. If you see LSQ, it means you're in AM, LSB, USB, or CW. For NSQ, November Sierra Q, Quebec is your FM squelch. Thanks for watching my videos on the AOR DV10. 7-3, all the best.